this is the Liquid Remix ROM based on Android Pie on the Redmi Note 3. And let me show you the settings quickly. First of all, here in system, let's go to about phone. Here, as you can see, we have the Liquid Remix OTA update checker from here. And this is the 5th October 2018 build, as you can see. We can check for updates from here if there is a new update, but it says can't check update. I am not sure if it can check if there is a new update or not, but the option is there. And inside Android version, as you can see, it shows the Liquid Remix logo right here. And here is the Liquid Remix version 10. Again, 5th October 2018 build. Android version, let me just show you as you can see based on Android Pie. Let's go back and the security patch level is 5th October 2018. This is based on the pre-release 2. The kernel version over here is Lineage OS kernel. Let's tap OK and let's go back. Inside advanced, we get the developer option from where you can set the default USB configuration to file transfer. If you want to connect your phone to PC with a micro USB cable, this should work fine after you set file transfer. And let me just tell you that if you want Vaulty to be working, just put your Geo SIM on the SIM slot number 1. If you put your Geo SIM on the SIM slot number 2 on this ROM or any other Pi ROM or the Redmi Note 3, it won't work. So if you want your Geo Vaulty SIM working, so just put your SIM to the SIM slot 1. Then the Vaulty will work and it will show device is Vaulty capable like this. And here is a quick settings panel as you can see. And inside hotspot let me show you that there is the 5 GHz hotspot option as you can see. Let's go back and you can tap and edit stuff from here by just one tapping them. You can add them on the quick toggles panel. Let's go back and by the way I am not using the hardware buttons as you can see. I'm using the gesture of Android Pie and Nightlight is working fine as you can see. And let's go into settings. Let me show you the customizations right now. Here inside Liquid Launch, we have all the customizations. And let me just show you. Here as you can see, we have button gestures and all other stuff. Let's go inside buttons. As you can see, we have the volume rocker panel customizations over here. And we have the disable hardware keys option which I already did and backlight option is there for the hardware buttons and what else we have the normal home menu and back button customization if you are using them you can just add like long press and single tap or double tap action let's go back let's go into gestures inside USB gestures you get the swipe up gesture as you can see and this works super fine as you can see and doing this will get you to the recent apps panel and doing all the way up will get you the app drawer let's go back and the recent apps panel is fine like no issues whatsoever no lags or stutters as you can see but while charging which i have noticed the phone gets a little bit hot but that's not an issue it doesn't go too much hot so you don't need to worry inside navigation gestures we have the full screen gestures i guess and we have the screen off power button torch let me just show you as you can see the screen is off and long tapping or long pressing the power button toggles the torch as you can see and the fingerprint scanner is working fine here is the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see and what else we have swipe three fingers to take a screenshot and as you can see it just works we have the double tap to sleep option over here, status bar and lock screen. And as you can see, double tap to sleep works just fine. Let's go back. Inside lock screen, we have the lock screen charging info, fingerprint authentication by pression, face auto unlock is there. So if you use face unlock, this feature is there. You don't need to worry. Auto face unlock will be working fine. We have the media cover art option if you use that or if you need that. Inside miscellaneous, we have the wake up on charge option which I'll just disable and inside navigation we have the fingerprint authentication vibration again and what is this force on navigation screen inside notification we have heads up option I don't like it so I disabled it let's go back we have the battery light option over here and that works fine over here and we have some in-call vibrations option over here 
inside power menu you will get the advanced reboot option let me just show you as you can see over here we have the advanced reboot you can directly boot into recovery fast boot or you just can soft reboot or you just can reboot the system UI let's go back inside quick settings you have the quick settings panel opacity control from here we have the brightness slider option over here you can choose the brightness slider to be on the bottom of the quick settings panel you can enable vibrate on touch if you need that and inside status bar we have the status bar items over here we can get the headset and bluetooth icon which works just fine and you can change the battery icon style to portrait circle dotted circle etc you can change the battery percentage position as you can see and let's go back you can set the clock and date style from here and as you can see the clock i set it over here is in the middle right here as you can see you can set the position to left or right So as you can see, all the apps are in memory. So memory management is super good and the app open up speeds are fine too. Though I don't like the stock launcher over here which does not show the Google Now panel to the left but it does this gesture. And let me just show you the stock camera over here. And as you can see, this is the pretty basic Google camera app. And as you can see camera works just fine you don't need to worry about camera but it does take pretty basic pictures and if you can definitely use GC mod 5 if you are into like portrait mode and stuff if you want to install GC mod 5 just follow this video from these cards and if you want to flash this ROM make sure you download it from the description box below and use the micro G apps on like ARM64 9.0 micro G apps because otherwise the camera apps might not work properly or you may face some issues so just flash micro g apps and now let me show you the display settings here as you can see let's go advanced and over here as you can see you can set the background colors to light dark or black and one more good thing over here that uh, you can change the accent colors over here as you can see you have bunch of accent color options this option is not present in most android pie based roms so this is pretty good in my opinion and you can just set one let me just set red and as you can see the accent color has changed to red if i just go into about and android version and as you can see the liquid remix logo has changed to red so you can definitely like change the all over theme inside the ui so which is a good thing in my opinion and i like it and in terms of the banking apps let me just open google pay all right 
let me just set it up as you can see it says google pay can't be used on this device so you cannot use google pay or any other banking apps right away after installing this rom so if you want to install or use banking apps you need to use magisk i guess if you want to use magisk and use magisk hide for using the banking apps just follow this video from the cards and you will be fine with using google pay or any other banking apps so in my opinion this is a really good rom a lot of you guys were asking me to do this video so I just did it give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and by the way the battery life is like pretty average like three or four and a half hours of screen on time max to max you won't get much but we are getting it on a three years old device so that's not bad at all in my opinion give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now